Boom! Monday Mindset Mashup. This is Jason J. Boom Legard. I'm coming at you here with an inspirational message video. This is a new little series I'm trying out on Mondays. And I called it Monday Mindset Mashup for a very important reason. In my own experiences, and I'm sure many of you out there can relate, Mondays always seem to be the most challenging mindset day. Because, of course, there's already all that pre-programmed BS that we wake up Monday morning after our weekend, and it's like, oh, it's Monday. Oh, it's Monday. Here's Monday. This is Monday. And like in the classic movie office space, sounds like someone's got a case of the Mondays. Wow, you just, you know it. You know what I'm talking about, right? So I felt it very important to start using that as a launching point to give you some insight into the knowledge that I have gained over the last two years in my personal development work in regards to mindset, how it's improved my life, and then give you an action step or two that you can start implementing today to start improving that mindset, especially on the dreaded Mondays. This is what I want to share with you tonight. I was listening to Jeffrey Combs' More Heart Than Talent podcast today while at my job. And he was speaking on vision and a very cool, um, very cool broadcast, a podcast. Lots, so much value in that. One of the biggest points that really struck home for me because I've, ex I've experienced this personally on a lot of different levels and continue to, to build upon this, this type of mindset. And he talks about how we just as, as human beings, as, as achievers, as people uh, striving for success in building businesses, being entrepreneurs, is we have to stop settling for the least and start only settling for the best. You know, he phrased it also like most of us, like we settle for the worst. We, we, don't, we don't settle for the best. And that really hit home because I've had some experiences that he talks about like getting rid of the, in, in, in conjunction with this, that, that phrase, he talks about how you have to get rid of the cheap, that cheap, cheapness in your mind, the, uh, the broke mentality, the broke mindset that, you know, you, you, you only need that much, you know, when you buy that item, well, just get, get what, you, just gets what's necessary. You don't need to go above and beyond. You, you, you're, you're, you know, and it just made me think like, wow, he's right. How many times are we settling for the least? And I also thought about it, not just in regards to things that we purchase. I'm talking about how many times are we settling for the least in a friendship? How many, how many times are we settling for the least or the worst in relationships, in our health, our fitness, our nutrition, uh, our environment? I mean, it's, it's the whole range of, of life's experiences. Like, how much are we settling for the least? And it freaked me out when I heard it. I was like, whoa, Jeffrey Combs dropping some booms with that one. So here are, uh, here's my action step for you. And it's something that I have uh, continued to apply in my life, step by step, continuing to build upon it. And I want to share this, this action step with you tonight because it's very simple, it's very easy to do, and you can start in very, very small ways because, of course, if you've been trying to, to build success with the broke mindset, the cheapness mindset, the, the settling for the least mindset, you, you might not have a lot of abundance in your life. So you're like, well, hey, how do I start, how do I start when I don't have a lot yet you know, when it comes to the actual material of money, you know, the energy of money? Okay, so that's why I want to make this very simple. You've been probably seeing why does he have the Fiji water bottle so prominently, prominently displayed in this video? This is something I have started to do for myself in set not in, in refusing to settle for the least anymore. Fiji bottled water. I just really, really enjoy this bottled water of all the bottled waters i love how it tastes it just seemed like when it's when it's ice cold it just seems even colder than is possible i don't know uh there's also to the i have an association a mental mindset association of success because when i see the word fiji not only do i think obviously of, of that area of the world and how beautiful it is but it also reminds me of in in my mind seeing my future where i'm working with tony robbins on a project and we're having a mastermind session 
at his resort in Fiji. So I've got success correlations whenever I buy a bottle of Fiji bottled water. And you know, this is usually a, for a bottle of water like this, I think it's usually an average about $2.30. It's usually at least double the, the, the standard bottled water from a lot of other brands. And of course, it's a lot more than the, the generic brands of bottled water. Uh, and of course, it's a lot more than tap water, you know? So that's something I made a decision on when I buy bottled water. If, if, if they have Fiji, I'm buying Fiji because it makes me feel more in tune with my abundance and all of the experiences that are continuing to come my way and I'm you know building upon a foundation of success of wealth of value so that's that's one so just something simple like that start buying a, the best brand of bottled water it also could be like you need a new pair of sunglasses well start sell you know set aside money maybe you need to save up for a little bit whatever you know it depends on the the thing you're looking to achieve but let's say it's the sunglasses and you're like, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to just buy the, the $8 crappy ones at the gas station this time. I've done that for years because I know they're just sunglasses. Instead, like, research. Wow, what is the top, top level pair of sunglasses? And also, too, not only that, what are the top level sunglasses and then also make me look good? All right, you got because you, you want to look good, too, right? You research that. You set it, you go, okay, though that's the pair, that's the brand. How much? Hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, who knows? Okay, set that aside, you start building it, and then you go buy that, and then you've got this incredible pair of sunglasses, high, high quality. You know you've you've got the best. And so every time you put them on, your vision is of, of abundance. You're you're looking through these sunglasses that represent abundance for you. Wealth, money, financial freedom. I mean, just it's it's boomtastic. It's just, whoa. You know, one last thing, you know, Mark Holverson, uh, he talks about in one of his trainings how, you know, he's got like a, a, I do believe it's a $500 dress shirt that he likes to wear when he does his presentations. And he buys it from, I think it's called the Billionaire Store in Las Vegas. And again, when he's got that, he buys that shirt, it's a, you're like $500 for a shirt, but that shirt is just the, the, the craftsmanship, the quality, the materials how it makes him feel when he steps on a stage like he, he knows like I'm the man I am the man right now I got my $500 shirt on I have achieved this I've done this I provided this type of value to so many people that have blessed me with their abundance because I blessed them with my hard work with everything that I got with every bit of wisdom for that particular product that's why he's got that shirt that is my Monday mindset mashup for you this Monday evening. Take this to heart and start implementing it tomorrow immediately. Pick that one small item, pick that one small activity that you could say, I'm not going to settle for the least anymore. I am only settling for the best. And that is how you have a grat, whoops, that's how you have gratitude that's an attitude that's going to give your dreams altitude and you are going to boom it like never before. And now I'm going to enjoy my Fiji water.